Namaste. Welcome to Powerhouse Tarot. I'm Energy Goddess. Welcome to my little growing, vibrant, abundant YouTube channel. Okay, on my YouTube channel, I like to do different spiritually related videos and content. If that's your thing, if you enjoy it here, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. If you haven't already, as well as the post notification bell, so that you're alerted every time that I upload to the channel. Today's message is going to be a transit. Sun in Pisces, Moon in Leo. So this is also all about facing inadequacies, things that you feel are inadequate within you, in your life, what have you. Let's go ahead and get into the messages. Archangel Michael, I ask you to come down and place a hedge of protection around me. And all the messages go where they need to go. Archangel, Jabril, I ask that you come down and help me to communicate the messages from above, so below. What is it that I need to see during this transit time? Love, success. So definitely this particular transit is going to have a focus on inadequacies. Things you don't feel are good enough when it comes to your success. Things you don't feel are good enough when it comes to your love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Love. Success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. Okay. So heavy emphasis during this uh, particular transit. Um, Pisces sun definitely wants you to be more um, aware of what you're feeling and when you're not connecting to the vibration of love at this time. The more that you connect to the vibration of love, it help propel your success in the direction that you need it to go. The more that you focus on the vibration of love. Yeah, and it also brings in happiness and relationships. Some of you guys will have start to have improvement health when it comes to you uh, loving from a more genuine and organic space, you know. It invites peace. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. This is about releasing what is negative within your um, force. Be patient with yourself. You're learning how to release fear, trust, the process, and growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Okay, so right now you're trying to expand your consciousness, your awareness. Trying to find love. Okay, abundance at the bottom of the deck. So you're going to be very abundant. You're definitely going to get what it is that you desire when you face your inadequacies. See, this growth propels you into um, internal work, but it also feeds growth, right? Obviously, the, the peace that it gives you, you know, taking an internal look within and what isn't uh, good enough for you. So obviously, we want to change the direction of the flow, change something here so that we can have more success. It starts with love. Let's see, what do we got here? Okay, so we got guardian angel you are not alone growth it's imperative that you remember this feathers could be very significant those of us getting this message while you're on this growth journey i feel like you're going to find a lot of feathers 
as well. You know, when you find them, ask spirit, what do they mean? If you can't all the way, if the message doesn't come in, then you pick it up. But definitely keep it. It's a symbol of good luck. So, uh, spring. See your seeds grow. See your seeds grow. Growth during the springtime, you see it. Yeah, enjoy growth and reap the rewards. There's a lot of growth around you. Enjoy growth right now, ladies. I feel like you read more in your divine feminine energy. Yeah, very balanced. Enjoy success and happiness. <clears throat> enjoy success and happiness. Big vibes when it comes to um, this growth and, and ushering in a lot of success. You got two cards on that. Two cards on growth and love. Planting good seeds through peace and love. Shaman, trust in your higher forces. Yeah, literally, that was the word that I said. Trust in your higher forces within you. That was literally the word. Y'all gotta play these videos back. That was literally the word. Like, just trust it. All right. <clears throat> what are the angel messages here for this particular transit? Sun and Pisces, Moon and Leo. What are the angel messages? Okay, so throat chakra and a need to clear yourself at this time. There's a need to clear yourself. See, that's imperative to your growth, your communication, I'm hearing. You learning how to communicate better, throat chakra. The angels are helping you lovingly speak your truth, okay? Ask the angels to release any toxic energies that you may have absorbed, okay? Clear yourself, throat chakra, working within these energies here, helping you to create dialogue, be able to speak better easily, freely, freeing up um, those blockages you may have within your throat chakra, okay? Maybe you thought that you were being clear, you weren't, okay? And this is opening that up, okay? Because you're facing things within you that are not adequate and definitely it's, it's about you, you know, verbalizing more for you. Okay, those of us getting this message, let's go, let's go. Bottom of the deck, yeah, release. Yep. Yeah. Clearing your throat chakra, releasing the energies, the negative energies you may have absorbed. That didn't want you to speak your truth lovingly or however that came out, right? It's period. So let's dive a little deeper. Let's grab any messages from the soul at this time. See if we can unpack here. So something you want to clean up, probably just your attitude, connecting more. It's not like, oh, you got a bad attitude, but it's like just having a more cheerful approach, releasing worry, restriction in your heart so that you can have your true success and happiness. It's about you connecting to your higher force at this time. <clears throat> yeah, this is the unfinished chapter in your life right now. Okay. Spirit wants you to observe, okay, pay close attention to what it is that the higher power, the most high is showing you, okay? Breathe, take a moment to relax. You know, you're co-creating with the divine. This isn't a rush. This isn't a race. You know? It's 
imperative that you remember that moving forward so that you can allow true growth and have true success. When you're regenerating, you're not supposed to like look at what it's you're doing. Like you just let it happen. So that you can face these inadequacies. Yeah, serendipity at the bottom of the deck. This is happening divinely for everything to come together. Okay, so in the present energy we have out in the world, the problem area is the page of swords. So yeah, it's it, right now it's like facing your inadequacies is what you want to do. You want to look within, you know, no projecting during this time. You know, it's no projecting ever, but you get what I'm saying? Like <coughs> heavy emphasis on that could have been some negative energy that was just around you. <clears throat> Notice how I just coughed, right? It's like a blockage, right, in your throat chakra that blocks your communication. Um, something that maybe weighed heavily on your mind. Right now, you're working heavily with your guardian angels, um, tapping into your shaman powers, okay? Um, expect your seeds and your success to start to really show towards the springtime. Remember, that's coming up really soon, right? But... That was really the problem area, um, having the ability to um, open up that throat chakra area, you know, the communications, right? Um, Gemini energy, right? The swords, air element, right? We got out the justice card. I really see a lot of um, things working out in your favor, really uh, addressing some of these blockages you may have had with your angels, your shamans at this time, guardian angels. Yeah, having a reformation, a rebirth of this chakra. You know, something needed to end so that you could transform this power within you. Yep, celebrate. And so unconsciously, you're not even aware of how actually you dissolve the issue within. Once you um, chose to look within the self-awareness, right, brings us closer to facing the inadequacies within, right? And it wasn't that it wasn't, you're not good enough. It just having these qualities, right, about oneself, you felt weren't good enough, right, qualities. And so you wanted to improve your, your qualities, just period, right, strength. Consciously, you're aware of that, okay? Consciously, you're aware of that, that you're getting stronger and being able to see your weaknesses and make them your power points. The shaman, I can't make it up, look, who trusts the spirit, who trusts the soul when making decisions, <laughs> like a chariot, you know what I'm saying, the wise one, the shamanka, <laughs> look at that, page of pentacles, okay, and what's external to you, you know what I'm saying, success, page of pentacles, success, Okay, some sort of good news. Look at this, High Priestess, Hopes and Fears. Okay, Mastering Lessons. Mastering Esoteric Knowledge. Love it. And the Outcomes to the Swords. Okay. There's some change coming in in the outcome for this reading. Um, the change is very necessary because once you face the inadequacies, you will make changes um, within voluntarily. Um, so trust your intuition, trust your inner process, right? Yeah, really quick changes, really quick success. Yep. 
getting exactly what it is that you wanted once you face these things within you. Okay, very quickly. Different choice to do something differently, okay? No longer disappointed, no longer um, held back by something, okay? So that's what I got for this particular transit. Let me know how you like this message. I'm going to also pull some of these cards just to see if there's anything in specific that I could share at this time. Are there any specifics that you need us to see right now? Okay, so there's a false person that wants to be like someone. Someone, these are specific messages. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, according to this transit, uh, Pisces, Sun, Leo, Moon, and face of inadequacies. Okay. Someone, this is a channel message. Someone is wants to be a false person. Someone wants to be like someone. Someone wants, is studying someone, trying to research someone. Someone wants to officially be like someone. Someone wants someone else's energy. It's like they feel like they are bland. They are tired. Tried. They tried. <laughs> someone realizes someone is deeply in love with someone and is no longer the apple of someone's eye. This person has different endeavors. This person is a wealthy man. Someone's waiting on a particular decision. This wealthy man. Someone's watching and studying someone's profession and what it is that they do for a living really closely. Someone feels that this is something they want to do, but they also don't know how to necessarily do this. So it's like they're studying somebody to see if they can learn how to do it by watching someone. There's a main male very significant and why this person is watching someone it's like this this person wants to be with this main male but this main male chooses someone else his heart is somewhere else with someone else this person can feel it so you might be intuitive whoever this reading is for again a very intuitive energy like psychic i heard someone is psychic Someone doesn't trust their own process. So heavy on the trusting your own intuition, trusting your own self. Yeah. All right. So that's what I got for the channel messages. Let me know how you guys like this one. Peace.